In the early hours of March 17th, the United States military executed one of its most sophisticated operations yet, deploying the B-2 Spirit stealth bomber from a base in Missouri to strike critical targets hidden beneath the sands of Yemen. This wasn't just any bombing mission, it was an exhibition of America's unparalleled military reach and technological prowess. The B-2, renowned as the world's most advanced bomber, flew nearly 8,000 miles to obliterate underground bunkers that posed a significant threat to U.S. naval forces in the Red Sea. What lay beneath this seemingly innocuous patch of sand was a series of weapons catches concealed by Houthi rebels who had been fortifying their arsenal deep underground. The operation began when two B-2 bombers took off from Whiteman Air Force Base, embarking on a journey that would last over 12 hours. To ensure the mission's success, mid-air refueling was conducted every six hours, with the final top-off occurring over the Red Sea. This strategic maneuver allowed the bombers to approach Yemen without exposing the non-stealth KC-135 tanker aircraft to potential threats. As the bombers closed in on their target, they carried payloads specifically designed to penetrate fortified structures, each bomb capable of piercing 8 feet of concrete or 20 feet of solid rock. At approximately 1.29 local time, the B-2's bomb bay doors opened, releasing their deadly cargo toward the mountainous region of Sada Governorate. These precision-guided munitions fell from an altitude of 50,000 feet, taking about 55 seconds to reach their destination. With pinpoint accuracy guided by GPS, each bomb landed precisely where intended, creating craters that subsequent bombs exploited to breach the protective layers surrounding the bunkers. Once inside, the explosives obliterated the remaining contents, turning the night sky into a spectacle of fireballs. Just three hours later, another chapter unfolded as the venerable B-52 Strata Fortress entered the fray. Known for its ability to carry an extensive payload of 20 joint air-to-surface standoff missiles, the B-52 targeted Houthi training camps spread across Yemen. These missiles wreaked havoc, striking four separate locations and decimating both infrastructure and personnel. The psychological impact was equally devastating, demoralizing the enemy and eliminating future fighters before they could join the battlefield. Despite these overwhelming successes, the Houthis were determined to demonstrate their resilience. Later that evening, the U.S. Stout detected incoming missiles while patrolling near the Yemeni coast. Battle-hardened sailors aboard the destroyer employed innovative defensive tactics using the Nulfus system, a decoy mechanism far superior to traditional chaff. Within seconds of detecting the incoming threat, the Nulka launcher fired a round that mimicked the ship's radar signature luring the missiles away and causing them to splash harmlessly into the ocean. However, the U.S. recognized that merely intercepting attacks wasn't sufficient. To curtail future assaults, they needed to disrupt the source providing targeting data to the Houthis. On March 19, F-18 fighter jets launched from the U.S. Truman, aimed at an Iranian warship named Zagros, stationed near the Bab al-Mandiv Strait. Although initial reports suggested the ship was sunk, both American and Iranian officials denied the claim, averting what could have escalated into a regional conflict. This incident highlighted the intricate web of alliances supporting the Houthis. The Zagros, equipped with numerous radio antennas, served as Iran's primary signal collection vessel, relaying crucial information to Houthi gunners. Disabling such assets could significantly impair the Houthis' operational capabilities. While the controversy surrounding the Zagros subsided, tensions remained high as evidenced by Israel's covert operation against another Iranian signals platform earlier in 2021. Frustrated by their inability to harm the American fleet, the Houthis escalated their tactics, launching ballistic missiles aimed not only at military installations but also civilian areas in Israel. At around 10.30 p.m., the U.S. Kearney detected these launches through its joint tactical terminal which provided real-time infrared data from satellites orbiting hundreds of kilometers above Earth. Armed with SM-3 missiles, the Kearney crew prepared to neutralize the threat swiftly. The SM-3 missile represents the pinnacle of air defense technology, capable of traveling at hypersonic speeds, exceeding Mach 13. Unlike conventional fragmentation warheads, the SM-3 employs a lightweight exotmospheric projectile, Li P, designed for direct impact. As the missile tracks its target, the ship's SPI radar continuously updates its trajectory until the leap detaches in the final moments, 
homing in on the incoming ballistic missile with unerring precision. In mere seconds, the leap obliterates the Houthi missile, ensuring its remnants burn up harmlessly in the atmosphere. By March 20th, the U.S. Air Force continued its campaign in Yemen, utilizing F-15s and Reaper drones to strike remaining targets. However, the dearth of viable objectives indicated the effectiveness of previous strikes, leaving the Houthis severely weakened militarily. Their feeble response consisted of launching five drones, promptly intercepted by the Jason Dunham using its C-WIP system. By the end of the day, it was evident that the Houthis had reached their lowest operational capacity in a decade. Yet, the challenge persists. Without enforcing a stringent naval blockade, Iranian smugglers could swiftly replenish the Houthis' depleted resources, necessitating a repeat performance of recent military endeavors. For now, though, the U.S. has demonstrated its unwavering commitment to safeguarding regional stability and protecting allied nations from hostile entities. As the dust settles on this latest confrontation, the international community watches closely, aware that peace remains fragile amidst ongoing geopolitical tensions. The U.S. display of military might underscores the importance of maintaining robust defenses while striving for diplomatic resolutions. Until then, vigilance and readiness remain paramount, ensuring that those who seek to destabilize the region face swift and decisive consequences. Thank you for joining us on this journey through modern warfare's complexities.